today and this time around it's a lot harder for some reason my lower back kills me by the end of the day if I do too much and I just don't want to overdo it so we're just taking it slow this spring but I am going to get through everything hopefully <laughs> um, today we're working in the kitchen I want to get all of the cabinets and drawers organized I got some really fun stuff in that I want to show y'all and it's a beautiful day outside so I don't want to keep all of her inside all day so at some point we're going to take a break and go play in the backyard or go for a walk and then we'll come back and get back to it. I would love to also get into the office and start cleaning that out too. You got your clothes ready? <laughs> He's got his clothes ready to go outside. Um, I would love to get back into the office and clean it out because eventually that's gonna be the baby's nursery, but I don't think that's gonna happen today. It would be awesome if it did though. So we're gonna get as much done as we can. I just cracked open a diet cup, so let's go ahead and get started. So before I could even get started, Oliver was dying to go outside and play. So we went outside and he drove around his little blue Jeep for a while. And now I'm back inside. He's still playing in the backyard and I just opened up all of the windows so that I could hear him playing out there. Um, I'm just showing you a few spaces in our kitchen that we really wanted to tackle today. We ended up getting through almost every single kitchen cabinet in today's video, which is amazing. We just have a couple left to do in the rest of our spring cleaning videos. We're starting out with the cup cabinet, mainly because I was really excited. I had some new stuff to share with y'all, and we're going to get this looking so much better. We had medicine stored in here, and Oliver's Halloween candy, and cups, and lids that didn't go together and we lost some pieces to them so we're gonna go through this declutter and make this look a whole lot better okay this is what we're working with i have a pile of all of my holiday mugs that need to go into totes in the garage i have a bunch of like random stuff that i need to sort through over here this is supposed to be our lid basket but we don't have a lot of those cups anymore we have oliver's trick-or-treating candy still in here I need to figure out what to do with that. And then we have our vitamins over here. We had a whole bunch of medicine right here. And I think it's kind of funny because Will puts all of the medicine that he uses right here afterwards instead of putting it back in our little medicine cabinet in the bathroom. And my parents did the exact same thing. So comment down below if your family does that. Do they stick all of the medicine that they just used in the cup cabinet? I thought that was so random that my family did it and then Will just did it. I don't know if that's just a thing or if that just was a coincidence but anyways let's go ahead and sort through these cups see what we want to keep and then organize the cabinet thank you so much to tamu for sponsoring today's video these gorgeous new drinking glasses are from tamu they are gorgeous and high quality they are heavy duty which i love for glassware and then i also wanted to grab these really fun swirly glasses for my iced coffee in the morning there is nothing better than waking up to a cute cup of coffee and i absolutely love these and I bet y'all will never guess the price for these. My favorite thing about Temu is their prices. You can find so many great things for very low prices. These were only 20 bucks for the small ones and 25 bucks for the large ones, and that's for a set of four. So that's a great deal. And then the iced coffee glasses were about $12 for a set of four. And so great, great prices on those drinking glasses. The little graphic tee I'm wearing in today's video also came from Tamu. In fact, in the last several videos, I've been wearing graphic tees from Tamu. They're all so cute and less than $8, which is crazy. Boutique style and quality at a fraction of the price. And these organizers are gonna be featured later on in the video and wait until you see what I do with them. I'm so excited. I absolutely love how they turned out, but you can't beat the price of these white ones. You get three for under $23 and these actually fit our space perfectly. So I could not be happier. Temu has literally everything you could possibly think of. So many fun ways to organize your house, everything from A to Z. New Temu app users can get 30% off of their first 
Temu order, just click the link in my description box to download the Temu app. All Temu users will get a $100 coupon bundle to save even more. Just search my code DKX9399 in the Temu app or click the link in the description box. Highly recommend any of the items I talked about today. Download the app today and save yourself some money on your next Temu purchase. Temu has free shipping and free returns for up to 90 days. They also have a price protection policy, which means if you order something and the price drops within 30 days, you can request a partial refund. Make sure to check out Temu today by clicking the link in my description box below. And thank you so much again to Temu for sponsoring today's video. Mm -hmm. All of this stuff you see me grabbing right here got decluttered or put somewhere else. And um, the top there is the lid basket. We've got our tumblers there on the top, our coffee mugs on the second shelf, and then our drinking glasses and a few more coffee mugs on the bottom. And I love how that turned out. Very excited about our new drinking glasses. Oliver and I took a quick lunch break in the backyard and now we are back inside. In fact, I think I had laid Oliver down for his nap at this point and now we're working underneath the kitchen sink. So I'm gonna clear everything out from under here. I've actually organized this several times in the past, but I usually just use my little bucket that says blessed and I'll fill it up with my multi-surface sprays and my trash bags. And then on the other side, I'll put my dishwasher soap. And long term, it never stays organized like that. We end up throwing so much junk into that bucket. And so I'm really excited to use our new organizers. These actually fit perfectly and I was so excited because we have all of that stuff going on that hangs down from the sink and it makes it really hard to find organizers that fit nicely in here. So this was perfect. I'm just gonna pull this one on the right out and put all of my flower vases back behind it. So that way, whenever I get some fresh flowers, I can just pull a vase out and fill it up with water. And I've actually already had these for a long time. I will link them down below. Best organizers ever. They seal really nice so you can even store food in them. I picked them up from Target. Actually, these might have come from Walmart, but they have these at Target too. And I'm just going to put all of our dishwasher pods in here. And typically, if my husband goes to the store, he likes a specific brand of dishwasher soap. But when I go, I just grab this big pack of the Great Value ones. So we're going to fill up two of these with some dishwasher soap. And another thing that I was thinking of whenever I was organizing underneath the sink was I wanted to have bulk of microfiber gloss. I wanted to have bulk dishwasher soap, bulk everything because I'm tired of running back and forth. Oh, and scrub daddy sponges. I am tired of running out of stuff. And now that we have room to store it all, it's going to be so nice. So we're going to stock everything up really well under here. And I absolutely love the way that it turned out. So we've got our scrub mommy sponges, our Dawn dish soap, our dishwasher pods, trash bags, a cleaning erasers for all of our pots and pans. And then I stocked up the microfiber cloth, some multi-surface spray and barkeeper's friend. And this is all of the stuff that I use in the kitchen on a daily basis. And it has been so handy to just reach under here and grab what I need. And I'm even gonna go back to the store and just stock it all the way up. That way we don't run out for a long time. And that'll be so nice. But now we're moving on to the silverware drawer. I actually picked this organizer up on Amazon a couple of years back and it has worked so well for us and so I'm just gonna get everything out of here wipe it all down and reorganize it a lot of times over time the silverware drawer takes a lot of um, I don't know we just kind of tear it up pretty quick so we're just gonna take everything out kind of think about what we still use what we don't really need and reorganize it change my mind your head's strong forward but this time around i'm taking my time don't push me i'm not coming down i'm not giving up oh don't rush me i made up my mind going straight to the top So initially I bought this organizer on Amazon because it had this little space on the side to put all of our K-cups 
and this drawer is located right below our Keurig, so it worked out perfectly. But here lately, Will has been brewing his own coffee, and I've just been drinking iced coffee for a really long time. And I'm actually, I'm going to be 17 weeks pregnant on Tuesday, and so I'm finally coming out of that nausea stage. I still get nauseous in the afternoon for some reason, but in the morning, I'm not so much anymore, and I can drink hot coffee again. So I went ahead and stocked up on our favorite Donut Shep coffee, and that's been so nice in the morning to have a hot cup of coffee. I still kind of tend to choose iced coffee over hot, but it's nice to have the option. So I filled that up, and then we're going to organize the rest of our silverware, get everything squared away in here. On the right side, I have all of my knives with covers on them, and on the top, we have Oliver's medicine things. I always forget the name of those, the little squeegee things. Our corn cob skewers, and then Oliver's spoons and silverware. And then I also picked up some new measuring cups and new teaspoons that all match because ours were all over the place. So this has been really nice to have organized. I do want to get some new silverware soon. I went to go get some new silverware, and I was asking you all if I should get black or gold. And I got so many negative comments about both of those colors. So I think I'm going to stick with silver, but we've got to figure out what kind we want. Okay, tonight for dinner, I'm just going to make chicken spaghetti in the crock pot. This is something I have not made, I don't think, since we've been married. And it seems like a really easy recipe to just throw in and then enjoy at the end of the day. So all you need is a package of spaghetti noodles, two cups of shredded cheddar cheese, a can of diced tomatoes and green chilies, some minced garlic, a can of cream of chicken, a can of cream of mushroom. I'm just gonna use half of this yellow onion, Italian seasoning, a half a block of cream cheese, which is four ounces, and then three chicken breasts. And I just used two and a half and chopped them long ways in half. So I'm gonna go ahead and throw all of the chicken ingredients in the crock pot, and then we're gonna cook this when it's all done. I absolutely love a good crock pot recipe that includes chicken because chicken cooks so well in the crock pot. It's so tender and in my opinion way better than a rotisserie chicken. So that's what we're going to do here. I cannot eat ground beef right now. It's like one of my biggest aversions this pregnancy which really sucks because a lot of the recipes that I really love include ground beef. I love spaghetti and I love beef stroganoff. I love bean casserole. All of my favorite casseroles have ground beef. And the smell of it just makes me so sick right now. So we're going to have to wait until <laughs> that goes away before we have any ground beef in this house. Anytime I do make spaghetti, I just make it without the ground beef. And then we'll just buy a bag of meatballs so that I don't have to smell the ground beef cooking. It makes me so sick. But anyways, I love a good chicken crock pot recipe. So I was really excited to share this with y'all. And I'll share at the end how it all turned out. It was absolutely delicious. But now we're going to go ahead and unload the dishwasher, reload it so that we can start working on this side of the kitchen. onto the junk drawer and I'm kind of just hopping around to all of the areas in our kitchen that were bothering me the most. So we tackled under the sink, we tackled the silverware drawer and now we're over here. This is actually supposed to be like our drawer with all of our pins and tape and all of the things that come in handy on a day-to-day -day basis. But sometimes when stuff fills up on the countertops we just shove it in this drawer and just to get it out of sight and then it builds up. So we're going to get everything out of here and reorganize. This little metal organizer came from at home a couple years back and I love it. But we're going to go ahead and put things into categories and reorganize it back in here. I do love having my pens and tape in here and then things like keys or little house. Um, I'm trying to look and see what's in our pile. Those little plug-in things that go in there so Oliver can't touch the plug-ins and then the door stoppers, things like that. I have those in here because whenever we baby proofed, we didn't really have anywhere to put them. So I am going to make a little spot in this drawer for those things. That way when it does come time to put all of those back on, They'll just be right here for us, which will be a pretty long time now because now we have another baby on the way. So I'm just going to keep them in here for a while, and then when it comes time, we'll pull them back out and put them all back on. But let's go ahead and pull everything out, wipe this down, and reorganize.
some of the projects that I've been putting off for a really long time because I thought they would take me so long. And I can honestly tell you that each of these spaces took me like 15 minutes each. So they do not take very long. If you have a space like this in your kitchen and it's really bothering you, go pull that drawer open and just pull everything out, wipe it down, and I promise you, you'll have it organized in no time. This drawer had gotten so bad and it feels so good to have everything back in order. We made little categories and the rest of that stuff all had a place. Now, I don't know what that was, but this is right next to the sink, so I'm sure something splattered there. We're just going to wipe that down, but... We got all of our categories organized and just took the other stuff where it went. A lot of it was tools and just random things that had ended up in here. Now I'm going to pull a load of dish towels out and fold those up, put them in the drawer. We organized our dish towel in our spring cleaning part one. So I'm just going to stock that real quick and then we'll move on. I just felt so good at the end of this day to finally have all of these spaces organized that I had been putting off for so long. So if you have a space like that in your home or in your kitchen, grab your coffee and clean along with me. You can probably have something done by the end of this video. So right here next to the sink, the first drawer on the top is that junk drawer that we cleaned out. The second drawer is all of our hand towels and washcloths. And then this last drawer is Oliver's dishes. And I like to keep all of his dishes separate. That way he can pull this drawer open and play with them and none of it will break. So we have all of his plates and cups and stuff. But a lot of this stuff has either been misplaced, broken, or it's just um, not something that we use anymore. So we're going to declutter what we don't need. And his bibs were all in here, but... Honestly, he doesn't use bibs very much anymore unless he's eating like cereal and milk. So I'm going to store those over in our hutch and the rest of this stuff we use on a daily basis. I need to restock his cups because somehow his cups go missing and his pacifiers go missing like crazy, which we're going to be weaning off the pacifier soon anyways. But it is not fun when you cannot find a pacifier and you're trying to get a baby to sleep or you can't find a cup and the cup that you have is dirty. So... We need to restock on that, but that drawer is all cleaned out. That did not take us long at all, so that was nice. I actually had somebody ask me over on Instagram the other day, um, how do you decide how you're going to organize something, or where do you keep this, this, and this? Somebody, One of their questions was, where do you keep all of your chargers and cords? And honestly, last year when we spring cleaned, we are moving on to the spice cabinet now, by the way. The bottom is spices, the top is all of our baking stuff, and I'm just going to start like I always do, pull everything out, wipe it down, and then we'll reorganize. But when it comes to organizing stuff in my house, my very first thought is, does everything have a home? And if it doesn't have a home, is it like in a category of something? Um, if it's chapstick, then it's probably in a category of makeup or medicine or self-care. Um, but as I'm going throughout my house, I also think to myself, do I really need this? Or does anyone in my house really want this? Because if not, I'm going to toss it or donate it if it's still valuable. And last year when we spring cleaned, I did a lot of that heavy work. And once you do it once, I feel like it's a lot easier to keep up with. We got rid of so much stuff last year. I mean, we we took tons and tons of trash bags out of our house, either to donations or just to the trash can because you cannot hold that much stuff in a small house. It's just too much. It gets really overwhelming. And it's so much easier to maintain your house and care for your house when there's not a ton of junk sitting around. So now when I'm cleaning up, if I see something that's not valuable, that we're not going to use, that we don't need, then I will just toss it. Um, a mail was a big one last year. I would run across so much mail that we saved because we thought it was important. And then we never touched it again. And most of our stuff now we can do online. So if I see a piece of mail that we're not ever going to look at again, unless it has something to do with taxes, then I will just toss it or you know, paper shred it, whatever I've got to do to get rid of it, get it out of the house because we just don't have the space for everything. But when it comes to organizing, I do think of things in categories. So all of my chargers and cords are in a drawer in our office. And if I have something, usually it will fit into a category somewhere. So that's how I organize stuff in my house. But I'm a big believer in just get rid of it if you don't need it. I ordered this spice organization kit on Amazon a few years back and it has come in so handy. It makes everything look really sleek and it's so easy to find what we need. I used to organize them in alphabetical order, but now I just organize them with the ones we use the most often in the front 
and the ones we use the least often in the back. And eventually I will order a new spice organization kit because since then we've accumulated several more spices and I kind of like for them all to match. But right now we had enough still going on where it still looks good. So eventually we'll get a new one, but I will link this one down below. It's a really nice one. Make sure you get some stickers and do expiration dates on the bottom of the spices so you don't end up using one that's expired, even though I think it's not really a big deal if it is. It probably just won't have as much flavor. But then we got our baking stuff on the top all organized. Most of our baking stuff goes in a little bin in our pantry, but that's a lot of like stock and overflow up there. We got that all organized, threw away a few empty boxes. And now we're over here at our larger utensil drawer. This is kind of a random drawer because we don't host a lot, so we don't have a lot of larger utensils. But I am just gonna take everything out, wipe it down, reorganize a lot of these. I guess silverware or I don't know a lot of these utensils I guess have come from just random places where we'll be cooking one night and I'll say well we don't have a whisk and so we'll rent a Dollar Tree or Dollar General and just grab one but eventually one day I want to get a set that's all matching and really nice so that if we do have to host something larger at our house we'll be prepared most of the stuff we do at our house we just have everybody go in the backyard we do finger foods things like that but eventually we really do need to get a nice set of matching larger utensils. This drawer was pretty easy to organize though, not too much stuff. So we're just gonna pull everything out, wipe it down, and put it all back in really nicely. Now this is our Tupperware drawer, but it also holds like our baking pans, the glass ones, like our 9x13, and a couple of cake pans, and as you can see, a few other random things. So I'm just going to pull everything out and reorganize it a little bit. Uh, last year when we were organizing our whole house and getting everything spring cleaned and decluttered, I ordered a really nice set of Tupperware on Amazon. They're all glass and they had really nice lids that snap on. And so those have been a game changer. Before, when we opened up this drawer, it was just a bunch of ugly plastic Tupperware falling out everywhere. <laughs> and now it is jam packed and we can't open it, but it's a little, or it's a lot more organized than it was last year. I used this little basket on the side to organize all of my Tupperware lids, but over time it just got messy. So we're gonna reorganize that. And then I have this little salad um, kit box thing that I used to take as a teacher. I would put my salad in it with a couple sides of fruit and stuff. So that's what this little thing is that I'm holding and it has like several little salad dressing cups in there. That's one thing that kind of gets in our way and it really needs a place to go, maybe above our fridge in that little cabinet. But for now it's gonna stay in here with the rest of the Tupperware. And then we're just gonna go ahead and put our nine by 13 pans back in here. I like everything that's in here. I just needed to reorganize and find a place for everything. And then that, um, what is it called, strainer, is gonna go back up in the other cabinet with the other strainer. This is our caraway pan drawer. I like to keep all of our bakeware right here, just handy next to the oven. So we're just gonna take it all out and organize it, put it back in because everything that was in there is gonna stay in there. Except for there was a couple of muffin pans in there that I'm gonna move to our pots and pan cabinet. So that looks so much better. Now, I don't know if y'all remember this, but there was a rose gold bunt cake pan in that drawer with our Tupperware. I'm actually gonna move that to this cabinet above on the upper shelf. Right now it's a hot mess, but we're about to pull all of this out, wipe it down and get it organized. I like to store all of my pots and pans in here and we love caraway, so the bottom is really nice with all of our caraway organization, but the top is not so much. So we need to pull it all out and kind of just play around with it. We actually have these coral caraway pans from before that we didn't get rid of whenever we got our white ones. I like to keep a couple of those still in here just in case we um, need them, I guess, just in case we end up wanting to use one that's not as nice for something that we have to cook that might ruin it, I guess. We don't want to ruin our nice new ones, so we're going to keep those up here, but I just needed to kind of play around with stuff. That's kind of what you have to do in the kitchen, I feel like. Play around, kind of see what fits. So that's what we ended up with here. And then I ended up putting our gold bunt cake pan in here with the rest of those little muffin pans.
most exciting part of the day. The crock pot dinner woo, is almost done. It looks so good, it smells even better. I'm gonna stir it up and we're gonna put in a little bit of cream cheese and the noodles and mix it all together along with some of that cheddar shredded cheese and I'll show you the finished product. I did go ahead and take out the chicken and shred it. I don't like to shred it too small because then you don't get a really nice bite of chicken in your pasta. And I kind of like a larger bite of chicken. While I was finishing that up, Will threw some croissants in the oven. Those were so delicious. I always make him do that because we just bake them out of the can, but he rolls them so perfectly and they always turn out perfect. He's like the best bread baker and I always burn in the bread. So he's in charge of that. And I'm just finishing up this pasta. We put in all of our cream cheese and our shredded cheese. And y'all, this was so delicious. Maybe I'm just new to chicken, um, spaghetti in the crock pot, but this was so good. Will loved it too. And he brought it for his lunch for like the next two or three days to work. So, so, so good. Highly recommend. But that is going to be it for today's video. Thank y'all so much for stopping by. We got so much tackled and it feels so good to have all of that done. And I will see y'all again soon in a brand new video. Bye.